please turn off all cell phones for the keynote. Welcome everyone to Couchbase Connect 16. Please welcome to the stage Couchbase Chief Executive Officer Bob Wiederhold. <laughs> Welcome to Couchbase Connect 2016. Welcome to everybody who's here at the Santa Clara Convention Center, and welcome to everyone who's joining us via live stream. You know, it's amazing to me how this conference has grown over the last few years. We're sold out again this year. We have almost 1,000 people that'll be here over the next two days here live in person. Uh, and in addition, this year, we're live streaming all of our sessions, and we expect to have over 2,000 people that will join via live stream around the world. I continue to be blown away by the growth of the Couchbase community. Uh, I want to take a couple of minutes and just quickly thank the customer speakers who are such an important part of the program every year. We have more than 20 customer speakers at the conference this year. And they're such an important part of this conference because they can tell you how they are actually deploying the challenges they face, the successes they have in deploying Couchbase in their, under their mission critical applications. So thank you so much for all of our customer speakers. In addition, I'd like to thank all of the partners that have joined us this year. We know that building a strong ecosystem around Couchbase is increasingly important to many of you, and it's great to have such fantastic support from uh, many of our partners. So thank you so much. I'm super excited about the conference this year. I think we have a fantastic program for you. It's great to see so many of our old customers here again this year. Of course, great to see many new customers here as well. And it's always fantastic to see a lot of new faces who are just beginning to explore the use of Couchbase for your projects and for your businesses. Thank you all for providing such great support for the Couchbase open source project and for Couchbase as a company. Now, in a few minutes, uh, Ravi Mayaram, our head of engineering and products, is going to join me on stage. And he's going to talk about the technology direction of Couchbase. Uh, in addition, you're going to hear a lot over the next couple of days about the technical capabilities of the Couchbase product. And you're also going to hear a lot from our customers about how they're using Couchbase in their digital economy businesses. But I want to spend just a few minutes uh, talking to you about how you all are using Couchbase in your digital economy businesses and about the huge impact that we're having in the market together. Today I want to share how far Couchbase has come, how it has successfully enabled web, mobile, and IoT applications for a vast number of businesses in the digital economy. But before I get to that, let me just uh, pause for a minute and talk about what I mean when I use the term digital economy. What I mean by that is something pretty simple. Any business that is delivering products or services or delivering experiences online using a cloud-based approach. Pretty simple. Now, for many people, when they hear me use the term digital economy, they immediately think of e-commerce. And Certainly, e-commerce is one of the biggest areas of the digital economy. But these days, almost every enterprise in every industry needs to be building a digital business or risk being left behind. And on this slide, I'm showing just a few of the many digital economy verticals that are growing very rapidly. There are many more. But let me spend just a few minutes taking you through a few of them. E-commerce, again, is one of the biggest, a lot being written about what's happening in this space. A uh, key statistic, however, is that the digital part of the retail industry is growing more than eight times faster than the more traditional brick and mortar part of the retail business. So digital clearly is taking off in the e-commerce or the retail space. Another area that has already been completely transformed by the digital economy is the travel industry. 
almost all of us, or probably all of us, never make a reservation for a flight or a hotel or probably even a rental car except by doing that online. So that's an industry that clearly has moved almost completely to be a digital economy uh, industry. Another area, casual gaming, that's an area that more recently has made the transition. It's only about 10 years ago that if you wanted to play a casual game, you most likely bought a CD in the store, you plugged it into your PC, and you were a user of one playing that game on your PC. Or maybe you downloaded it, but you still were a user of one playing that game on your PC. But the casual gaming industry has completely transformed. Anyone that plays casual games today is highly likely playing that on your mobile device or even on your laptop, but the game is running in the cloud and uh, they're using in-game uh, monetization models and advertising models. That industry has completely changed, has completely been disrupted with, generally speaking, a new set of leaders. So that's an industry that has undergone major change as a result of the digital phenomena. Online sports and casino betting, same kind of thing. That's a bigger industry in Europe where the regulations are different and not as strict as they are in the United States. Uh, but there, for example, already in some countries in Europe, more than 30% of the bets that are made on sports matches are, made, are now made online, and that percentage is growing rapidly. We're just backstage, by the way, and I guess the betting on the Trump versus Clinton is particularly high. I presume uh, online it's, it's very high as well. Financial services, of course, also going through massive change. A lot written about fintech, uh, many different areas of the financial service industry being disrupted by the digital phenomena. Uh, one example is retail banking. The cities and Chase's and Wells Fargo's of the world are all closing down more and more of their branches, and they are uh, not investing in, at, anymore in ATM machines, and instead they're making huge investments in the web and mobile applications that underlie their retail banking businesses. As a result, you can do all of your check, uh, writing your checks and making payments online. You can fill out mortgage applications online, et cetera. That's where the retail banking industry is going. And in my view, it soon will become a digital economy business. Payments, the same kind of thing is happening. Just to give you one statistic, business intelligence, uh, a notable uh, market research firm, predicts that in-store mobile payments will grow by 42 times in over the, just the next four years. So that is undergoing massive change. Many of you, I'm sure, are starting to use various uh, payment methods like Apple Pay or Venmo or something like that. Massive change taking place in that area of the financial services industry. In the media space, big change also taking place. Just to pick one example, Online video streaming is creating a major disruption in the cable and broadcast television industry. Almost every one of the broadcast and TV players, companies, are making huge investments to find a way to be successful as uh, more and more people watch content online, any place, anytime, on any device. And finally, business application software uh, it's not that long ago that packaged software companies were the successful companies in the business application software space. That's more than a $500 billion industry. But virtually every company in this space is now moving to offer their products and services online, generally with a SaaS a business model approach. So that industry is massively moving, and some of the stars are companies like Salesforce and Workday and NetSuite but there are hundreds of other companies that are following in their footsteps and also moving to provide their products and services online using a cloud-based approach. So these are just a few of the verticals that are affected significantly, some of them already having made the transition, others that are in the process of a major transition. So why is it so important to focus on the digital economy? Well, if you listen to um, the uh, market research analysts, there's a lot of good reasons. Uh, their reports call out the dramatic growth in the digital economy. In fact, 
the growth of the digital economy right now is more than six times faster than the growth of the rest of the economy, more than six times faster today, and it's expected to accelerate over the next few years. Just to give you a few data points, IDC just last week published a report saying that by 2020, just four years from now, 50% of the global 2000 will see the majority of their business depend on their ability to create digitally enhanced products, services, and experiences. As a result, the industry leaders are going to see much faster growth in their digital business than in the older, more traditional parts of their business. And in many cases, again, in half the cases, we'll see uh, more than half their revenue come from those digital businesses. As a result, IDC is predicting that the worldwide investment in digital economy initiatives will reach $2 trillion by 2019, so just three years from now. And that represents more than a 60% increase in uh, what they predict will be spent in 2016. So when you look at IT budgets only growing relatively slowly, that may be true across the board, but if you look at what the investments are in the digital part of the business versus the non-digital part of the business, that's where the investments will be. So that's why we believe it's so important to focus on the digital economy and help all of you uh, meet the challenges of this move to, to digital. Now for these digital economy businesses, web, mobile, and IoT applications are the fundamental underpinnings of these businesses. They are the mechanism through which you interact with your customers, whether those are consumers or business customers. Through these apps, uh, you buy your consumer goods online from the Amazons and Walmarts of the world. Through these apps, you play your casual games like Pokemon. Through these apps, you make payments from your uh, uh, checking account. Through these apps, you're able to watch your favorite movies and television shows online anytime, anywhere that you want. So these web, mobile, and IoT applications are the fundamental underpinnings for these digital economy businesses, and it's absolutely critical that those uh, apps are well done. Now, to be successful in these digital economy businesses, you've got to deliver great user experiences through those apps, through those web, mobile, and IoT applications. The experience of those, through those apps needs to be a contextualized experience, a personalized experience, a location-aware experience, et cetera. And most of the key features of these web, mobile, and IoT applications are going to be data-driven features, features that require the app to reach into the database, collect more and more data, and then process that data. And if you don't deliver these great experiences, it's highly likely one of your competitors will, and you'll be left behind. These apps need to be extremely rich, they need to be feature rich, and they need to give users quick access to information uh, when they want it. These apps need to be available anywhere, be it on the ground, in the air, on the move, whether you have an internet connection or you don't have an internet connection. They need to be always available, whether it's 3 o'clock in the morning or the middle of the day. So delivering these great apps is absolutely central to success. And we certainly believe that an operational database like Couchbase is a critical component to deliver this awesome experience. And as a result, Couchbase is laser focused on helping you all to deliver these great experiences. And as we expand the capabilities of the product, our footprint continues to expand uh, with our existing customers, and we continue to expand to more and more verticals across the digital economy. Today, I feel confident and I feel that we have a lot of credibility in saying that we're offering a general purpose database, a general purpose database that has caching, that allows you to uh, support key value access patterns. A year ago, we delivered Nickel, which is a very powerful query, uh, query language. That's a SQL-compliant query language. A couple of years ago, 
we began offering a unique mobile solution that allows you to have a database that sits on a mobile device or on a gateway in an IoT use case and then allow you to sync the data back to the database that's sitting in the cloud. And in a few minutes, Ravi will talk more as a part of uh, him communicating the product direction for the company. He'll talk more about new capabilities like text-based search and analytics. So we continue to expand what we are delivering from an operational database perspective so that we can play a bigger role in providing you an operational database that meets your complete needs for your digital businesses. Now let me talk a little bit now about just the kind of impact that we're all having in this new digital world. And let's start with e-commerce, as I, I mentioned that earlier. Uh, e-commerce is the biggest vertical in the digital uh, economy. And many of you might be surprised to know that Couchbase uh, is uh, the six of the top 10 e-commerce companies in the United States run Couchbase under mission critical applications. And eight of the top 15 in Europe runs Couchbase under mission critical applications. We're working with these customers to solve a wide range of problems that include, for example, delivering highly scalable solutions so you can stay up and running no matter how many users are on your websites and mobile apps. And for example, dealing with the crush of Black Friday, which obviously is just a few weeks away. We're working with these e-commerce customers to provide them 360 degree customer views so that they can deliver highly personalized experiences to their customers. We're working with them on omnichannel, one of the hottest topics in e-commerce right now. Uh, the ability to be able to order a product over your mobile device or on your laptop and then pick up that, uh, that product uh, at a, a physical store. Something that, for example, requires you to have real-time inventory control on a store-by-store -store basis. We're working with customers to address those kinds of challenges. We're working with them to provide customized product catalogs that allows them to tailor the attributes of specific products to the uh, specific uh, types of, of, of consumers that are interested in purchasing those products. <clears throat> so you'll, you can have an opportunity to hear more about what we're doing with e-commerce companies. There are a couple of uh, a presentations during the next two days, one by Staples and one by cars.com, uh, both talking about their transition from relational databases to, to Couchbase. And we're thrilled to have customers like Walmart and Staples and Home Depot and Office Depot in the US, Best Buy, companies like Tesco's and Vinte Privé and Carefor in Europe, all uh, significant customers running Couchbase under mission critical, business critical applications. Let's move to another area, travel. Again, some of you might be surprised. Obviously, there are many different areas of travel. I've just picked a couple of uh, here to highlight. Many, may, uh, one of the, the key cores of the travel industry is called global distribution systems. That's where the reservations are actually made, whether it's for airline reservations or hotel reservations, whatever. And you might be surprised to know that three of the top three global distribution systems worldwide use Couchbase for mission critical applications. Amadeus, uh, someone who's speaking here at the conference, is uh, the leader in this space uh, based in Europe. Uh, Sabre and Travelport are two GDS companies based here in the US. Combined, these three make up 95% of the global distribution system uh, space. And all of them are using Couchbase for mission critical applications. Another area of travel is the airline industry. Now, airline industry aren't known for delivering great experiences, right? But they know they have to. They know they have to to be relevant in the future. And so they're making big investments in completely redoing their systems so that they can, in the future, deliver vastly superior experiences to all of us who, who travel frequently, or even if you don't travel that frequently. So these airlines are investing in experiences that start from when you make a reservation, continue uh, to when you check in for your flight, continue to when you travel to the airport and you're in the airport, continue 
uh, onto the plane and delivering a great experience on the plane and then continue as you arrive in your destination airport. So they're taking a look at all of those different phases. They're working with uh, Couchbase on, on delivering uh, much better solutions in that space. And three of the top 10 international airlines already work with Couchbase and are using Couchbase uh, under mission critical applications. I mentioned Amadeus before is speaking at this conference. United Airlines is speaking at this conference. And although uh, I'm, I'm not uh, talking at the moment about uh, the hospitality industry or hotels, uh, Marriott is also speaking at this conference and I encourage you to go see their presentations on how they're working with Couchbase in their digital businesses. In the airline space, Emirates, Ryanair, and United are the three international airlines that are already working closely with Couchbase. Another key area is online video streaming. Again, I mentioned that before. Uh, again, cable TV and broadcast TV industry is being significantly disrupted by this online video streaming. Uh, it's at the early stages of that disruption, but uh, that's moving very, very quickly. And six of the top 10 uh, cable and broadcast TV companies in the United States and Europe use Couchbase under mission critical business critical applications. These are companies like Comcast and Verizon and AT&T DirecTV. It's companies like Sky and British Telecom TV and Telefonica. And it's some of the new digital leaders like Red Bull. We're working with these companies to solve uh, problems that include things like providing user profile stores that allow them to deliver customized solutions to their customers. We're working with them to build recommendation engines that are tailored to the specific viewing habits and the specific interests of uh, their customers. We're working with them on customer service solutions because they need to manage, for example, the entitlements that individual customers have. What kind of movies do they have access to? Uh, what kinds of things do they have to pay additional money for? If they're traveling from, from country to country, what movies can they watch when they're in another country that they, um, that they, because they may not be able to watch it uh, as a result of various regulation? And we're also working with them on network monitoring solutions that allows these company, companies to capture uh, what the network environment is when someone is uh, watching uh, some kind of a video online, what kind of quality of service did they receive? What kind of device are they using to access the content? We're working with uh, online video streaming companies uh, and those businesses to deliver those kinds of solutions. Over the next couple of days, uh, I encourage you to check out, if you're interested in this area, check out the Sky presentation. They're going to talk about how the Game of Thrones, obviously one of the most popular uh, a series that's on uh, television today, um, how that created a completely new set of challenges for them to deal with and how they worked with Couchbase to solve those challenges. So this is another key area uh, where we are uh, together with our customers making a huge impact. Online sports and casino gaming, uh, another area where we're having a big impact. Six of the top 10 online sports and casino gaming companies use Couchbase today. Companies like Unibet, Betfair, Playtech, Ladbrokes, all of Betsons, all of these companies are companies that rely heavily on Couchbase. These days, gamblers, particularly millennial gamblers, uh, less and less, are less and less likely to go into a bar or go into a storefront to place a bet they're far more likely now to place bets uh, online. And so we're working with, uh, with these companies uh, to uh, do things like implement user profiles again, uh, to work with them on game and player state management, work on game status and events, and also to uh, log uh, wagers and various uh, moves in games, et cetera. So um, uh, another area where uh, Couchbase is having a huge impact in a particular um, digital uh, uh, industry. Financial services, again, there's so many areas of financial services. I'll just mention one briefly. Um, three of the top three credit reporting companies use Couchbase under mission critical applications. Uh, Experian, TransUnion, TransUnion, and Equifax are the three largest in the world. 
All of them run Couchbase. And uh, just to briefly talk about some of the other areas of financial services, some of the largest bank in, in banks in Europe and the United States also run Couchbase under mission critical apps, companies like La Banque Postale, Credit Mutual, UBS, uh, et cetera. So Couchbase is used for, from everything from managing their customers, building customer facing applications that manage trade and account status. Uh, we, ha we have lots of business in the fraud detection space. All of these are areas that uh, we together working with the community are having a big impact. At Connect, over the next couple of days, if you're interested in this space, I encourage you to check out the PayPal presentation or the Equifax presentation. Uh, they are both sharing their learnings as they navigated from relational technology over to Couchbase. So another area where we're having a very significant impact. So as a whole, Couchbase may still not be quite as well known as uh, some of the others uh, in the NoSQL space, but we are rapidly becoming the database foundation for the digital economy. With more than 500 customers in 37 distinct verticals in the digital economy, we are together having a big impact in this massive phenomena that's taking place in our economy. So I encourage you to attend the customer presentations throughout the day to learn more about the problems that developers and operations people are solving using Couchbase. I encourage you also that if you missed one of the presentations here over the next two days, for those that are in the audience here, I encourage you to look for some of the presentations you missed. They'll be posted online relatively quickly after the conference, and I encourage you to, to check those out at your leisure. Now, um, we know that we need to do more than just deliver a great product to earn your trust as a key partner for your digital economy success. So I wanna talk just for a couple of minutes about uh, the, the areas, the other areas where we're focusing a lot of attention so that we can be a trusted digital economy partner. One key area that we're investing heavily is learning services. One of the key things, of course, is to try and help you come up the learning curve on NoSQL technology and specifically Couchbase as fast as possible. One of the ways that we've tried to dramatically lower this barrier to learning to write applications is by delivering the nickel query language. That's a SQL compliant query language. Obviously there's 40 years of experience with SQL and so we think this is one way that we can significantly lower the barriers. We're the only NoSQL vendor that has a SQL based query language. We've also added a lot of online uh, courses so developers and ops people can learn Couchbase at their own pace when it's convenient without having to travel. Over the last year, we've also uh, added the ability to attend classroom training remotely. So you can still attend the more intensive classroom training and yet do that remotely. We have, that's been very successful for us and lots of customers have uh, taken advantage of that. And next month, something that we've been asked for um, uh, very often for quite a long time, we'll be announcing a certification program that will allow you to get certified and allow you to be able to uh, tell your, your, your companies that you've attained a certain level of expertise running Couchbase. So we've, in addition, we've beefed up our commitment to documentation, to tutorials, to providing how-tos and code snippets and other materials that you can rely on so you can successfully build applications. We know that we need to continue to invest more and more, not just in our product, but in learning services so we can get you uh, up to speed and up that learning curve as fast as possible. Another key area we're investing heavily in is pro professional services. Uh, let me just uh, uh, talk uh, quickly about that. Uh, most of you are using, that are using Couchbase are considering using Couchbase for your mission critical applications. They're absolutely vital to the success of your digital businesses. And the first time that you're going into production, you're likely facing a relatively steep learning curve. So we've put professional services in place to try and help you through that. Once you've gone through a couple of production deployments, you're up to speed, maybe you don't need those professional services quite, at, quite as much, but we wanna make sure that we have the expertise available to you as you're coming up the learning curve. 
So we've uh, focused uh, on making sure that we hire top-notch consulting engineers uh, and that we develop a series of services that can assure your success. Things like architectural reviews, use case reviews, pre-production deployment reviews, post-production uh, reviews, and health checks once you're in production. So I encourage you to check out those services. We're making big investments to make sure that we can assure your success and save you a lot of time and headaches as you come up the learning curve. Sys uh, systems integrator relationships are also very important to us. We know they're very important to many of your companies. Um, uh, many of you work at companies that rely on these systems integrators to work with your teams to address key challenges in your digital businesses. And so we continue to rapidly expand the relationships that we have. We continue to invest in getting uh, the systems integrator technical teams up to speed and make sure they have the expertise necessary to assure your success. And so we will continue to invest in these areas and we will continue to add more of these relationships as uh, time uh, continues to march forward. And finally, probably the most important aspect other than the product in terms of being your trusted partner is making sure that we deliver great technical support. We're making big investments to make sure that we deliver this great technical support because that's what you expect from a company that's gonna support um, your, your enterprises. Digital economy businesses have to be up and running 24 by 365. Every minute that you're down, you're losing money. And so providing this great technical support is absolutely critical. So we take this responsibility very seriously. Uh, we try and be extremely responsive, provide expert support, whether that call comes in in the middle of the night or in the middle of the day. We've made big investments in putting support and development centers around the world. We have one here locally in Mountain View, which is our corporate headquarters. We have a great team of people in Manchester, England that do an outstanding job and an equally great team of people in Bangalore, India. And with these three locations, that allows us to be able to provide support um, that follows the sun. We can hand off uh, issues from one team to the next and make sure that we're always working on any issues that may come up. So we've invested also heavily in the systems necessary uh, so that we can track and monitor our, our service level agreements uh, so that we can make sure and, and meet the commitments that we've, we've set with you. And uh, as a result, I'm, I'm very happy to say that 95% of the calls that come in for support, we exceed the SLAs and we have a customer satisfaction rating of over 95%. So uh, we'll continue to work hard in the areas outside of just the product to make sure that we can be your trusted partner. So um, while, uh, again, uh, delivering these great products is the right place to start, we're going to invest in all of these other areas. And uh, we're working very, very hard to be your trusted partner as you continue to build out your digital businesses. So thank you very much, and uh, now I'd like to bring Ravi Mayaram on stage, our Head of Engineering and Products. Uh, Fearless Ravi is gonna come up and talk about our technology direction, and uh, I think provide a little bit of a demo too. Big round of applause for Ravi.